Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni here and I'm back with another video. This video is sponsored by Teamy Blends. They sent me their detox mask and I'm gonna be trying it out today. So before we get into it, I just wanted to give you information about this mask and why it's beneficial. So first off, I love this mask. I've actually been using it for about a year now or so. But one of the things that I love about this mask is that it pulls blackheads and toxins from your skin. And it also helps clear up acne and blemishes and it gives your skin a natural glow. I love this stuff, you guys. And I personally, when I give advice on using this mask, I would not use it if you have a prior engagement or something like that. Because when I say it really does pull the toxins and the blackheads and all of that junk out of your pores, it really gets the job done. So when doing that when using this mask it will bring blemishes to the surface so you don't want to do that if you know you have an engagement or an event or something like that you kind of want to do it around your downtime so that you don't have to deal with a breakout of any kind with that being said i do recommend this mask and also another reason that i really love this mask is because there are no chemicals dyes it is cruelty free and also the quality control ingredients are a plus so so that's all that I have regarding this sponsored content, you guys. All information will be down below in the description box. So make sure you use the links and also any discount codes that may be available to you. I'll have all of that down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. I'm going to be talking about Tisha Campbell Martin. I don't know if she's still going by Tisha Campbell Martin or if she's just going by Tisha Campbell, but let's go ahead and get into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Tisha Campbell. She recently divorced her husband of 22 years, Dwayne Martin, back in 2018. They knew each other for about 27 years. And because TMZ got a hold of divorce documents, it is alleged that he made poor financial decisions and allegedly was verbally and physically abusive. He would call her ugly, fat, untalented, and would always get in arguments about her needing to find a job. He would use the fact that she wasn't college educated against her and belittled her for it. Dwayne Martin, I had to look this up because I'm like, he sounds like a real asshole, but I had to look it up because if this is true, his net worth was about 15 million. And I found it very interesting that Tisha Campbell's net worth is about 15 million. But during the divorce proceedings, it is alleged that she makes way less than what Google is telling me. So I find that to be interesting that maybe Dwayne doesn't make as much, but it's also alleged that he was hiding some assets and money when he was still married to her. So there's just a lot of back and forth that was happening about, I wanna say six months ago, she was coming out saying things and she was responding to the documents that were leaked to TMZ. He didn't really respond much at all. And he's just been very quiet regarding the divorce. But today I don't wanna focus too much on her nasty divorce. I just needed to give you a little bit of a background of what she's gone through over the years and most recently because she was on The Real. She's been co-hosting a few episodes and she's just been very open and transparent. And I feel as women, we can learn from a lot of the things that she had to say on The Real. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll be back for the remainder of my commentary. 
R&B queen Mary J. Blige is revealing her true self in a candid interview with the magazine Self. In the interview, Mary discusses the importance of recovery, healing, and taking care of herself following her divorce from ex-husband and manager Kendu Isaacs. Mary admits that looking back, she gave her ex credit for way more than she should have. Like her sobriety, for example, because she just wanted the fairy tale to be real. Mary further explained, uh, saying, quote, when I look back, I see that we all want what we want and we want it to be the way we want it to be. I wanted a savior. Mm. I'd been hurting so long and so much and so bad, he did not deserve that credit. Wow. So ladies, what do you think about Mary giving us the 411? Get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got, yeah, it. got it. All right. Yeah. You, do you know Mary, right? I do know Mary. You I do. know Mary very well. Yeah. And she, um, you know, whether it's through her art or through, you know, speaking verbally, she keeps it real okay. completely. Yeah. She's the most authentic person that I know. And and she does so so gracefully. Mm -hmm. um, and she's helped me a lot through my own, um, you know, separation and divorce. Mm -hmm. And she's right, you know, she, she says she uh, gave him more credit than he deserved. And I thought that was very uh, brave of her to mm -hmm. say, because a lot of times we do put ourselves in the background when we're in, um, it, behind the kids, behind the, you forget to put yourself first. There's yes. God, there's you. Yes, yes. Did you think you did yeah, this when, with your... And how did it help you? How did, what, did, what things did Mary say to you that helped you in this journey? Um, give them everything. But I'm, uh, that's what I mean. Did you think... Can you relate to what she said? I so you... completely can relate, especially when it comes to, like, you know, um, I put myself in the background and pushed, them to the, pushed our family and everybody to the forefront when it came to autism. But oh, the work yeah, that yeah. I actually had to do to fight for my son yeah. and to advocate for my yeah. son and to get him um, in the place that he is today, I would not take the credit um, that, like she said, she probably deserved. Why do you think, mentally, why do you think you did that? Why do you think you deposited the credit and all the work that you did over to your man? I think as a married person, uh, you start to, again, put yourself last. And uh, like I said, uh, was well, it's God, you, then the couple, then, then the, together yeah. you raise the kids. Yes, we've mm -hmm. talked about that. Yeah, like and, and that, you, you just start putting yourself further and further in the background, and work even becomes more important than I Did you do first. that? Wow. Because this brings up a question. Did you do that out of guilt, maybe because... I don't know, because sometimes in, in marriages, maybe the wife is doing a little bit more, and if you're married to a certain type, of, I'm just mm. being honest, you're married to a certain you know, type of guy, especially if they're alpha or they're feeling insecure, why do we as women feel like we have to always be the can one I, to validate like, and have to overcompensate? Yeah. To overcompensate, yeah. right? Yeah. But I think also, in my opinion, as a little girl, we're always taught fairy tales. Mm -hmm. And what's the main it. thing they tell you about fairy tales? Find your prince. Find your knight in shining or armor. Or he's going to come and rescue you. He's going to come and rescue you. Cute and cheetah I girl, Cinderella say, people. I always say that that is so, like, I Falsified. think that's so detri detrimental. I call it the Cinderella syndrome. Yeah, yeah literally. Definitely. Yeah. And I think because it's ingrained in us. And so when, even if you're not married, say you're just dating someone, you're always hoping that he's got to be the one. We got to give him credit. So there are three things that I really want to highlight from that segment of The Real. And the number one thing that I learned from that segment of The Real was the fact that as women, we fall in love with the idea of love without receiving love we deserve and that's what I got from Mary J's situation that's what I got from Tisha Campbell's situation and a lot of the women up there could probably relate with either a past relationship or a situationship a lot of times as women we fall in love with the idea of love without receiving the love we deserve and then with us doing that or by us doing that giving a man credit that he didn't deserve because he wasn't even loving us the way that we deserve so we would big him up, we would feed his ego, but this went all 
to a man that didn't do anything to deserve his ego being fed. I'm always talking about feed a man's ego, there are benefits. However, a man should be doing the same in return for you. It's almost like pouring into a glass and you're doing all of the pouring, but he's not giving you anything back in return. And we find that a lot in women. We don't put ourselves first. We put men and everything else, kids, everything before ourselves. And this is something that I've learned from watching my grandmother and my mother. Like it's okay as women to put ourselves first. Tisha Campbell divorced her husband and she put herself first for the first time in about probably 27 years. And that's another thing that I noticed is with that older generation, they were taught and they were groomed to stay and they were always taught to never put themselves first and to always go above and beyond for their husband and the children. And for the first time in 27 years, Tisha Campbell put herself first. And that was the number one thing that I learned from this segment on The Real. The last thing that I wanted to point out was that Mary J said in her interview, and it was pointed out during the segment on The Real that she took ownership and that she was taking accountability as well. She wasn't self-blaming for what she went through because what she went through was needed. It was a learning process for her, but she still took ownership and accountability. She didn't just bash her ex-husband. She also learned and she was able to grow from the experience so that was another thing that I learned from that segment and just the interview and actually I'm gonna go try to look for this self magazine interview so I can read the full thing because honestly I liked a lot of what Mary J had to say based off of that small segment that they did on the real behind her self magazine interview so I advise that you check out the full interview as well that's all that I have regarding this video I would love your opinion on this topic so please comment it down below as women when are we going to start putting ourselves first I think it's time that we start doing that tap into our divine feminine energy and just really bask in that energy as women so that's all that I have make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload and I'll catch you in my next one